Beginning of the legal tampering period, uh, the Baltimore Ravens have been very, very quiet. They had not made any moves, any signings, any trades, any anything. Uh, and I know a lot of fans have grown impatient, but this is something that literally happens just about every single year with the Baltimore Ravens. But I had tweeted on the flip side that while the Baltimore Ravens have been quiet, none of their pending free agents had gotten any deals. None of them had been signed. We hadn't heard, heard about any soon-to-be former Baltimore Ravens getting deals, but in this last hour, all of that changed right away. Because first, Gus Edwards, he got a deal with the Chargers. Then Geno Stone, he got a deal with the Bengals. So he stayed in the AFC North, but now Devin DuVernay, all-pro kick returner Devin DuVernay. And probably the least talked about pending free agent for the Baltimore Ravens, Devin DuVernay. Because when we talked about pending free agents, a lot of people talked about Kyle Vinoy, Jadavian Clowney, Geno Stone, Patrick Queen, Gus Edwards. Uh, it's, it's a long list of people, but nobody was mentioning Devin DuVernay, who had a big role for the Baltimore Ravens for the past like three, four years, especially when he officially became their official returner. But nobody was talking about Devin DuVernay. And he's somebody that even when he was a receiver for the Baltimore Ravens, he did not look bad at all. So with Devin DuVernay, he became a free agent, but now he is free no more because he is joining the Chargers. The, the Chargers, I'm tripping. The Jaguars, the Jacksonville Jaguars. Sorry, Gus Edwards still on my mind. But anyway, let's read the report from Ian Rappaport. He said, all-pro special team player Devin DuVernay has agreed to a deal with the Chargers. Uh, he gets a two-year deal worth $8.5 base. So that's what he's getting, $8.5 mil base salary with Offensive upside to 12.5 mil per his agent. So I guess it's going to be based on snaps, probably based on yards, based on touchdowns. Because, you know, they throw in a bunch of incentives to these deals to make them look better, to make them look prettier and whatnot. So they look more appealing to, for the player to sign. But shout out to Devin DuVernay, man. Shout out to him. Um, I know the Jaguars, I believe they just signed Gabe Davis a couple hours ago, too. So it looks like they they retooling that wide receiver room a bit. I'm not sure what the status of Zay Jones is. Um, and I'm not sure what the status of, I'm sure Christian Kirk is probably still on the team because he signed that mega deal like a couple years back. And th that completely reset the wide receiver market like, what was that, two years ago, I think, I want to say. But anyway, the Jaguars are redoing their wide receiver room for Trevor Lawrence or Mac Jones. But no, nah, it, it'll be for T-Law. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see how they use Devin DuVernay. Devin DuVernay, uh, for any Jaguars fans that are unfamiliar with Devin DuVernay, he's a, he's a receiver that the Ravens drafted in the third round. What year was that? Was it 2020? I want to say it was 2020. Um, but I, I forget what year it was. But anyway, they drafted him out of the third round in Texas, from Texas. And he never really got any burn as a wide receiver initially. But then as a return man, that was his thing. But with Devin DuVernay, um, he, he's not a shifty wide receiver. So he ain't going to make nobody. He ain't going to shake nobody. But he has really good straight line speed. But when it comes to cutting and changing direction and stuff like that, that's, that's not really his thing. Um, but his straight line speed, oh, he got that all day. So him as a returner, especially if the Jacksonville Jaguars are going to use him in that role, if the blocks are set up perfect, oh, Devin DuVernay set. He'll, he'll take it to the house. But if he got to make somebody miss, then it's not it, it, it ain't going to work out so good. Um, but he does have hands. He does not drop the ball. He, so you ain't got to worry about him dropping the ball as a returner. He is not somebody that fumbles the returns like and I think in all the returns he got with the Ravens. I think he might have fumbled maybe one, maybe, but he didn't lose it. But I think he fumbled maybe and maybe two at the most. But he is not a fumbler. He ain't a dropper at all. So Devin DuVernay is going to be interesting, like I said, to see how the the Jaguars, I almost said the Chargers again, but to see how the Jaguars uh, use Devin DuVernay and incorporate him into not only their special team, but their offense as well.